Hi, and welcome back again. I'm Laura, a patient navigator, and I'm here today on behalf of your oncologist who has discussed with you about a device called PORT that is inserted under your skin for your cancer treatment. I want to go over some general information about PORT in four short videos. Be sure to watch video one to understand what is a PORT and why it is needed. Video two, what to expect after its insertion and video three for how a port is used and how to prevent infection and clotting. In this video, we go over what to do if accessing or flushing the port at home is needed. Your oncology nurse will instruct you if it's needed and they will demonstrate to you or a family member how to do it. Never try to use your port without proper training from your caregiver. Do not hesitate to call us for training. Have a well-trained nurse to help you at home if possible. Supplies needed. Gloves, alcohol, pads, gauze, tubing and needle, saline syringe, heparin syringe. I will review with you the steps of accessing and flushing the port. Create a clean working space. Sterilize the surface with alcohol. Wash your hands properly with soap and water. Wear a mask during preparing and accessing your port. First, you will need to remove the air in the tubing attached to the needle. Attach a syringe that contains saline to the tubing. Open the clamp and slowly push saline through the tubing and needle. Then close the clamp and leave the syringe attached. Wear clean medical gloves. Clean the port site and the surrounding skin with alcohol pads for 90 seconds. Then allow it to dry completely. Fill the edges of the port with one hand, using the same hand to stretch the skin across your port and hold the port in place. With the other hand, insert the needle through your skin into the center of the port and push it until you hit the back wall of the port. Open the tubing clamp and slowly pull back on the syringe. If blood flows back into the tubing and syringe, the needle is in the proper place. If you do not see blood, you will need to change the position of the needle. Close the clamp on the tubing. For port flushing, you will need 10 milliliters normal saline syringe, 10 milliliters heparin solution syringe. Connect the saline syringe by opening the cap. Avoid touching the tip of the syringe. Push the saline slowly. Clamp the tube after flushing with saline and before you connect the heparin syringe to prevent air bubbles from entering the tube. Push the heparin slowly, then clamp the tubing. After that, you can carefully remove the needle. Feel free to watch this video as many times as you would like or read the transcript. Be sure to watch the other three videos on port as well. If you have any additional questions, you are welcome to reach out to your doctor's office. Thank you and good luck.